name is David Pike. The title of the book is Beyond the Flames and my publisher is Austin McCauley. The book covers my career in the London Fire Brigade from the mid-1960s to the late 1990s. I'm Stephen Clegg. The title of the book is The Matthew Chan's Legacy and the publisher is Austin McCauley. Yes, it's a historical drama that uh, started its story in 1750 with the first novel published. This is the sequel to it and um, uh, it's based on a true story. My name's John Franks. The book is called Where Waters Meet and my publisher are the Alliance Publishing Press. It's a conflagration of a myth and a historical story. It combines two main strands, one which concerns twin brothers and uh, the influence they have on their community and the other a singular character who is on a journey and uh, it comes to a denouement where these two strands uh, join together in a quite dramatic ending. My name is Richard Hardy. The book is Leap of Faith and my publisher is Crooked Cat Publishing in Edinburgh. Yes, my book is about uh, wizards from the Camelot era who become detectives and move to the 21st century because the cases are going to be so much more better for them. They have a great deal of fun and it's a roller coaster adventure series. My name's Oakley Graham, my publisher is Top That, and my book is called Return of the Jabberwock. My book is one boy's quest to find the Jabberwock beast as first envisaged by C.S. Lewis in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. My name is Lee Russell, my book is called Stop Dead and it's published in the UK by No Exit Press. Stop Dead is one of a series of crime thrillers featuring my detective Geraldine Steele. My books are murder mysteries, each of my books begins with a body and the story spins out from there. What really drives my narrative is the motivation of the killer, I'm very interested in people and what I'm exploring in my books is what is it drives one person to kill another human being. I'm Julie Fulton. My book's called Tabitha Posey Was Ever So Nosy, published by Maverick Arts Publishing. It's um, a rhyming book. Um, one of the characters is a series called the Ever So Series, and this is about Tabitha Posey, who's a character that lives in the fictional town of Hamilton Shady. And they all have little character traits and learn from their adventures. So Tabitha learns it's a bit silly to be too over-curious with oversized cats. Christina Gabitas, Felicity Fly meets Veronica Vack with Poems and Pictures Publishing. Felicity Fly meets Veronica Vack addresses the importance of teamwork and friendship and I started writing to encourage children to read and I also narrate the story on it, which comes with the CD. I give all the characters different accents so it puts some fun into reading for children. My name is Jackie Rogers. Um, my book is Simply Spiritual and the publisher is Local Legend. My book is written as a spiritual book for everybody to expand their awareness of something more than this life. To understand that there is love from people who have passed, that there is no death. And it's my story to encourage others to look down that pathway. I'm Nancy Jardin. Uh, my book is called Topaz Eyes and Crooked Cat Publishing is my publisher. It's a mystery thriller that's uh, based on an ancestor tree um, where third generation cousins come together to solve a mystery of missing jewels from their family that was dispersed in 1910 and the trail takes them worldwide and not all family are nice to each other. My name's Helen Bate, the title of the book is Proverbs and Sayings and the publisher is Pictures to Share. It's one of a series um, published for people with dementia. So. Um, people with mid to late stage dementia who can't read normal books or typical um, magazines, that sort of thing. Uh, the books are designed to be accessible for them. My name is Carol E. Wire and this is my book How Not to Murder Your Grumpy and the publisher is Suffocate Publishing. The book is essentially 700 ways of how to keep your curmudgeon occupied when he's under your feet. So this can range from sensible options like doing crosswords or playing with his Meccano to something slightly more extreme like extreme ironing or lawnmower racing or maybe prune stone spitting. There's a huge variety and some jokes and plenty of trivia as well and I think it appeals mostly to women but also to an awful lot of grumpy men who don't want to be grumpies because remember a grumpy is for life not just for Christmas. I'm Lily Say. The book's called Sugar and Spice and All Things Nice, and my publishers are Percy Publishing. 
The book's based around me and my sisters when we was, our auntie was looking after us and we go into the forest, we find a trapdoor, we go down the trapdoor and it gets a little bit mystical, a little bit exciting. And there's a frog that plays guitar, so yeah, it's good. My name is Barbara Morris and the title of my book is One Misstep and it's published by Pegasus Elliot Mackenzie. It's set in 1993, it starts off in the Isle of Skye where a family has just suffered a bereavement and then it switches to Canada where they try to put the family back together. My name is Thomas Brown, my book is Limwood and my publishers are Sparkling Books. The book is gothic style fiction set in the New Forest and it's about a village with a secret. My name is Tanya, the name of the book is Black Amours, Africans in Tudor England, Their Present Status and Origins by the author Onyeka and it's published by Narrative Eye. The book is about um, the African presence in England during the Tudor period. So Onyeka has taken over 10 years um, and researched over 250,000 historical documents to produce um, this book. And what he is he's arguing really is that um, the Africans in England at this time um, were embedded in the, the fabric of society and had a range of roles and responsibilities from servants right through um, to the royal, the royal houses of, of England. Um, and he's, he's um, talking about and how important that is to, to not just English history, but world history. Um, and he talks about where these people um, have come from. So some of them came from the Iberian Peninsula in Spain, some were from African kingdoms, um, such as Songhai, um, and how all of that um, really affects, affects English history, really now understanding of what it means to be, to be English. My name is uh, Lorraine Mace, but I write crime as Francis de Plina, and I'm published by Crooked Cat Publishing. Bad Moon Rising is a dark psychological thriller, it's a police procedural, and it also delves into the mind of a serial killer. My name is Trevor Ripley. Uh, the book is called uh, Lily Love Bug and the Unconquered Planet. Uh, the publisher is Crooked Cat Publishing. Um, it's 30,000 words and it's for year eight upwards. It's about a young girl, she's 10 year old, Lily, and she, she, um, she's a bit of a tomboy, and uh, she rebels and runs away, and is subsequently abducted by aliens, the evil Greslons, who take her on a, a journey through space where she actually finds that she herself has got some magic powers. She meets uh, an entire group of um, people that um, get together and they call themselves the outlaws. They come back with an army from space and they to defend Earth from the, the invading Greslons. My name is Margaret Ski and the book is called Turn of the Tide and the publisher is Keeper Cayley Books. It's historical fiction and it's set in the late 16th century in Scotland and it's the story of a fictional family that are trapped in a long-running real-life clan feud. I'm Max Scratchman. My book is The Last Barasabs and it's published by Steve Savage Publishing. It's about the Scots who used to work the jute mills in India from the turn of the century right up to the 1960s, which is the historical part. The autobiographical part is my own childhood from the 50s right up to the 1970s when I lived there. And we lived the colonial, almost Victorian existence. My name is Josie Patterson. The title of my book is No Buts Becky, and the publisher is Troubadour. It's about Russian-Jewish immigrant family, Yiddish-speaking, who came to this country the turn of the 20th century, and some of their problems of living together in tenement block. And the heroine is Becky, who is very feisty, and again the government. Hi, we're Digital Leaf and uh, we're the publishers of The Weasel, Puffin, Unicorn, Baboon, Pig, Lobster Race, Children's Illustrated Book by James Thorpe and Angus McKinnon. The book is a bonkers tale of uh, a race between six animals, uh, all trying different ways to cheat along the way except for one of them who decides to not to cheat um, and eventually uh, succeeds by, by the virtue of that. My name's Tom Ward, my book's called A Departure and it's published by Crooked Cat. 
It's sort of a coming of age, end of the world book. It's like Lord of the Flies meets 28 Days Later without the zombies. It's about what you'd do if society fell apart and sort of the trouble you could get into and the fun you'd have in a way. My name is Richard Hall, but I write under the name of RJJ Hall. The title of the book is Theatres of War, and the publisher is Troubadour. As you'll gather from the title, it's a book about a theatre. The theatre is the San Carlo Opera House in Naples. The war is the Italian campaign during World War II. And it's a story of love, war and opera. My name is Julian Evans, and the title of the book is God's Trees, Trees, Forests and Wood in the Bible. And the publisher's day one, and they are based at Lempster. As the title suggests, um, it is all about trees in the Bible, and when you, whether it's the tree of life that we come across in Genesis, of course, or right in Revelation, or the fact that the wood of the cross, um, you know, where Jesus was crucified, was obviously from wood, you know, and, and I try to touch on those and many, many other subjects uh, that people interested in the Bible, um, as, as, as Christians and the story, but also, of course, you know, the Old Testament is, is, the, is the Jewish scripture as well. There are many references all the way through, so both factual and also metaphorical, which we seek to unpack uh, in this book. My name's Julian Noyce, and I, um, I'm the publisher of Gone by Louis Brawley, and uh, my publishing company is called Non-Duality Press. So this book is about the um, travels and experiences of Louis Brawley, who's an American artist, and he met, had experiences and, and time spent with a, an anti-guru, really, a guru who was also an anti-guru. He was a, a sort of raging sage, they call him. And he nursed him and took care of him as he traveled around the world in the last years of his life. And uh, yeah, it's quite a sort of radical story of biography and um, inner experiences from the author. My name is Edward Treyer. I write under the pen name Billy Bob Buttons. And my book is called I Think I Murdered Miss. And the publisher is The Wishing Shelf Press. It's about a boy called Simon, and he has Asperger's syndrome. And one day he wishes for his French teacher to be hit by a bus. And later that day, he is. Um, and it's a little bit of a farce, um, a comedy, but it also uh, looks a little bit Asperger's and autism as well, so there's a little bit of a mix between the two. And his best friend Isabella helps him on his adventure. Because uh, later on in the book, he, he um, he wishes the same thing about the school bully. He's very worried the school bully will also be hit by a school bus, so he chased him around for the whole book, so it's sort of fun. My name is Barbara Bogocek. I am a translator of this extraordinary book uh, by a Polish writer, Mr. Tadeusz Różewicz. The book is called Mother Departs, and it is effectively a memoir, a sort of autobiography, although an autobiography with a difference because it contains texts written by various members of the author's family. So it's not just his voice, it's the voices of the members of his family. It also is written in several different genres. It contains prose, it contains uh, pages from a notebook, it contains a large section of poetry. Danny Bent, you've gone too far this time, sir, and Taylor Street Publishing. My book is a journey from London to India that I took to educate children in the UK, um, but I took the journey by, I did the journey by bike, and along the way I was held at gunpoint, woke with maggots in my beard, kind of crossed deserts, at scorching heats, crossed mountains, um, but the, the biggest thing in the book is the people I met along the way, quirky, loving, sometimes a little bit nasty towards me, and, um, but they're the, the, they're the true quality of the book.